Hey guys, Jonathan back here again with a little install for you. Today we're going to be installing some grip plates on my skidoo here. So, which will go right on here and it allows you to pinch your snowmobile and grab tight when you get air or side hilling or whatever. So we've got grip plates here. This is your right side one for your right foot. This is your left one. They sit nice and square on the sled, like, I'll show you. So all you do is these will sit about like, hmm, it pretty much covers your bit number actually, which is kind of funny, but it'll sit about like that. If you can see, that's the seat for reference. And it'll sit about an inch below here. It'll come down an inch, stay level across here. And then um, if you look here, there's one, two, three, four, five. And that goes, five goes pretty much just up from this hole right here. All the sleds have it. I believe that's, I don't even know why they have the hole, but it's just a random hole. And uh, yeah, you put the fifth one just above it, line it up like that, and then one inch down and you'll end up uh, riveting it on there. So for what you need for this install is not much. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You obviously need to buy the kit from Skidoo, which is the two grip plates, plus six rivets for each one, so 12 rivets in total. You need a tape measure, a pen to mark with your tape measure. For the holes in here, there's uh, six holes, one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course a drill with a 3 16th bit. And that's all you really need to have for this install. It's super easy, should be really quick. So let's uh, slam her in there. First step is to measure from the top of the tunnel down one inch. I'm just going to put a couple marks across here. And then we'll continue with our install. So, as you can see, I put uh, three marks on the tunnel. One, two, three. That'll help keep it level. And then we have to go grab our grip plate and hold it up here and mark where I need to drill holes. So, I'm going to go grab that. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I now have one, two, three, four, five and six marks that's for each hole of the rivet now i'm gonna go get the drill and i'm gonna punch these holes through um you also want to be careful when you're drilling these holes you only want to just go through the tunnel because what's on the other side is your track and you don't want to hit your track and cause damage even though <laughs> this track's seen better days but uh yeah minimal damage is nice so give her all right you guys make sure you wear your safety glasses okay because when you're doing this if a little piece of metal comes flying off that drill bit from the tunnel and hits you in the eye and you're not wearing your safety glasses, you're, you're hooped, man. Like, unless it doesn't completely damage your eye, which hopefully it doesn't, but if it did, that'll put you out for days, if not a weekend or even your whole life, it might damage your eye. So make sure you wear your safety glasses, okay? Not optional. And when wearing your safety glasses, please make sure you're actually wearing them, not just like plop them on your head. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing safety glasses. I'm good, man. No worries. Anything hits me in the eye. Mm. Ow. I have my eyes gone now. I don't know why, but I can't see. Oh, wait. I should have worn my safety glasses. Let me put them on. Oh, now we're good. Oh, yeah. It'll just funnel everything right into my eyes. Like, oh, dude. Wow. This is, this is the style. I mean... All the professionals wear their safety glasses like this. Or even like, just hook them on your face and wear them properly. Keeps you protected, nothing gets in your eye. Well, unless you really break them, but this should not happen. Wear your glasses, people. So there we go, I got it sitting there where I want it. Make sure all the rivets line up. I just push them in by hand, make sure they all fit good. Yeah, and you can hit it with your Either a hand riveter, if you're lucky enough to have an air riveter, just hit them all. I would start from the inside and work out both ways. Just go center, outside, outside. That way nothing moves around. It is soft rubber, so it's flexible. And it 
the holes don't exactly line up, you can bend it a bit. But uh, it actually lines up not bad with uh, being marked an inch. You can still see your VIN number. I was quite surprised. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pop these bad boys in. See you later. All right, so that is the finished product. I am done one side. All you have to do is copy those steps to do the other side, and she'll be dandy. Got her lined up on this hole. One, two, three. See, hit the fifth one in. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Just in line with five. One inch down. Make sure it's level. And then you do your holes, mark them, and rivet these bad layers up. Looks pretty sweet. Can't wait to get out and use them. See you next time. Yoo!